Behold, Prince Himrik. You have arrived at the Plain of Bones, ancient graveyard of the dragons, to honor their dead and seek the wisdom of those still roaming the world. Few relics are left, for dark magic once took hold of this place. Furthermore, the dwarfs have committed sacrilege in seeking the dragon's treasures, wantonly despoiling their remains. You must punish their gold lust and purge them from their mountain holds. But be on your guard. Other nearby Dawi will not take this lightly and may seek vengeance. There is dark, ancient power to be found in the south. Though you may think twice before meddling here, it may be necessary. For in the distant ocean, a formidable black arc of the Druki has been spotted. Its business unknown. Noble Dragon Prince, these are wild and untamed lands infested by greedy Dawi, twisted greenskins, and other more secretive vermin. Come what may, the Knights of Calidor must prevail. Hello, monsters of here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2, Mortal Empires, and a brand new campaign as the Knights of Calidor and Prince Imeric. Greatest of the Dragon Princes. Yep, he's, he's a modest chap, isn't he? Holy shit. Uh, modest, lovely modest Prince Imeric. And... The winds are rising. Michaela Strachan, who is flammable. That's unfortunate. I mean, we've got a lot of dragons nearby. You are just woomph. You're just gonna, you're gonna go up instantly. It's gonna be horrendous. Anyway, we start off in this little corner of the map over here, the Plain of Bones, and uh, as the Fortress of Vorag, which of course starts with some vampiric corruption producing buildings. So that's fun. And a plaza. So at least we can enjoy the vampiric corruption from a nice pl plaza, I guess. You can put a Christmas market there and sell hot nuts. It's a lot of a lot of hot nuts. And we've got some mods in as well. You can see them all in the description, which includes some specific units for the various different high elf factions. So we've got Caladorian Spearmen and Caladorian Hawkeyes. I think they just got slightly more armor than the bog standard version. The winds call. Yeah, um, what was it you did again? You it would save for Phoenix units. Oh god, I fucking hate Phoenix units. Okay, we'll just go and scout. Natural. Go and scout. Yeah, yes, do that. So we start off in this little corner over here, and of course that means we've got Deathmaster Snitch to deal with, we've got Malice to deal with, we've got Grimgore to deal with, all that kind of nasty stuff. We start off at war with some, with some dwarves, and ideally what we want to do is, is try and take these two settlements, Darkhold and Ashridge Mountains, and then what we need to do is kill Clan Eshin before they start recruiting gutter runners with nasty shooting stars, because those things are fucking devastating, and the last thing I need is that bullshit on my plate. So let's have a look at uh, what do we get for playing as Prince Emmerich. Well we are the core to the Dragon Prince, we get Dragon Taming, seek out the secrets of mighty dragons or defeat them for their allegiance. Uh, invocation of Eldrazor improves and grants experience to Dragon Princes, Lords and Heroes. Gra greater Invocation of Vol, additional bonuses for Dragon use and recruitment duration minus one for Dragon and Dragon Prince units. It's not bad is it? It's alright. And uh, Prince Emmerich himself. Shall wake. Indeed. Is Dragon King's kin. Dragon King. Dragon. Good. Uh, so he gets campaign movement range, increase, a dr draconic resilience, which increases immunity to ma uh, mountain and desert attrition, which is going to be useful considering we are in a mountainous desert, and upkeep reduction for Dragon Princes and armor piercing damage for Dragon Princes. So that's quite nice. So we need to get ourselves some Dragon Princes. Now, fortunately, Prince. this build, this dark hold over here, has got a special building which will allow us to do just that. So let's go and start killing death. some dwarves. You know me, love killing dwarves. They will know Calador's name. Oh, I love the first battle of a new campaign. It's got that new campaign battle smell. So let's have a look at the units we've got here. We've got the Fireborn Dragon Princes with big fiery lances. That's right, they pick something up and it's burning. It's a burning sensation all over their lances. That's unfortunate. They do look fantastic though, don't they? Holy shit. I mean, I hate High Elves because I had a friend who played exclusively Elves. High Elves, Wood Elves, 
in Blood Bowl, Eldar, and Epic. It was just it, my entire life was was fighting against elves. So I've kind of got a bit of a a complex, but they've got style. I have to give them that. So we've got some white lines of trace. There's Prince Imeric himself on his horsey, looking pretty pretty fly. And we've got some Caladorian Hawkeye. They've got, they've got little like uh, shouldery things. The Calador, like, dragony wing things. That looks pretty neat, doesn't it? So these, I believe, are part of the mods. Looking pretty good. And then, of course, we've got a sun dragon. Ooh, who actually has, like, a rider. Ah, he's got a little rider there. I mean, it's just a sun dragon, but I think it's just been reskinned. Um, he, he probably... It's, it's kind of like those blow-up dolls you get, so you can travel in the in the carpool lane. It's, it's probably basically the same thing. Just so we can, you know, sneak, sneak, get, just to get to work a little bit faster, probably. And then he's like, may as well just not take it off. But he looks, I mean, I like the armor. That looks good. And then, of course, we've got Michaela Strachan. She's really wild. And she's got a big flame. Fl is that supposed to be on fire or is that accidental? She's chucking fireballs at the dwarves. So uh, who knows? But Michaela Strachan there, looking fantastic. Okay, so we're up against some dwarves. Uh, these are. Bog standard, they've got some quarrelers, long beards, miners, nothing here to be too concerned about. Thane, quarreler, yeah, I mean, the worst, the worst thing is probably the quarrelers. I disagree. I don't think it, I don't think it will. And um, Michaela is just continuing to chuck fireballs at people, because that's pretty much all she can do at the moment. Big old scream, chucking up the, uh, what, what are you firing at? The miners? Oof. You know what? Not bad. And victory is already in our grasp. Thanks to Michaela's fireballs. Taking out some of those miners. They were just hi-hoing, hi-hoing, and then before, before they knew it, fireball in the face. Unfortunate. So, Prince Emmerich is charging straight towards the Thane. We've got Dragon Princes on the flank, and there goes our Sun Dragon. Ooh, it's taking the blow, but getting get, taking a lot of health damage there. Emmerich's taking the shit out of him, and here come the rest of our forces. The dragon on the flank is fire-breathing right into the... Oh my god, that's devastating! Unbelievable. Here come the dragon princes on the other flank. Straight into those quarrelers, send them flying. That dragon breath was amazing. 68 kills, thanks to them all blobbing up around Emmerich. And then in come the Caledonian spearmen. And uh, we've got the white lions engaging the longbeards over here. The white lions, of course, have armor piercing, so they should be doing fairly well against the longbeards. Michaela's just chilling out there, keeping an eye on things, and here comes the rest of our archers. Sun dragons come landed down in amongst dragon princes, continuing their charge. It's looking pretty good. And we're going to get a little fireball on the flank here. It's no amber spear, but... Oof. That, that... She... I mean, Kayla's killed 33 dwarves with just fireballs, which is pretty, pretty fucking legit. Can you get blood out of a white lion cloak? Do they have to kill a new white lion every after every battle? I just I just feel like blood's one of those hard to remove stains, and you know, I mean, the, mm. A successful first battle. Look at that. Tribute is owed. I think we're just gonna. Under my rule. Yeah. Bring them down. Sure. We've got a beard weaver. That's good. Something to do with all that hair. We'll pick it out the plug. In. Weave it into a nice scarf dragon prince. or something. Good. And we're gonna start off by get. Oh, dragon horn. I do like a dragon horn. Don't get me wrong. So you can you can blow your dragon horn. And it gives everyone more melee attack and can cause fear when you're when you're blowing your dragon horn in front of people. People take notice and they're scared. Um, but we are going to grab Root Marcher just because that extra campaign movement range, you can't go wrong with it. And Michaela is going to, she's, she's going to make her fireballs better. She's got great balls of fire. She has. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Now, I mean, we could upgrade the Fortress of Vorag. We're not going to, though, because we're going to upgrade uh, this place. We're going to upgrade Darkhold, because then we can get... So, already we've got the Graves of the Dragons. The Plain of Bones is where dragons come to die. A place of great sadness to the elves, but also one of sanctity. 
Naples recruitment of uh, Star Dragons performed. Naples recruitment of Star Dragons performed an invocation of Walter Waken one. Yeah, there we go. Get income generated 300. Dragon capacity, Sun and Moon Dragon, public order, untainted. Upkeep reduction for Dragon Princes and Dragons, all armies. And also provides a garrison. And then if we upgrade that, we can get a little bit more money. Uh, more public order, untainted, an increase in the upkeep reduction, and also unlocks the recruitment of dragon princes. Mmm. Greatest of the dragon princes. A tasty meatball, that one. So that's what we're going to aim for. Now I am also going to upgrade to the colonnade because that's going to help uh, with some public order, and I feel like we can probably do with maybe a couple of units of spearmen and. Ooh, do I care about armor? Not really. Fuck it, you don't need armor. Armor costs money. You think I'm made of money? I mean, I am a prince, admittedly. And a very rich one at that. But, you know, I, I, don't, I, I didn't become a rich prince by paying for peasants to be armored. That's just not how I roll. Got military advancements. One, the most best named technology. And we also got Return of the Prince. Occupy, loot, raise, or sack six different settlements. Your journeys have taken you far from Kalador, and so your control of affairs in the Court of Dragons has waned. A faction of nobles, callow fools with little respect for Kalador's martial heritage, have invigiled their way into the halls of power. The fragmentary reports you receive from your home and tell of a land fallen to dissolution in idolence, where nobles revel in luxuriant balls, even while vicious pirates ravage the coasts fun. Um, such behaviour might be fitting of an Avalonian, but Calador is a land of warriors. This cannot be tolerated. You must find a way to contact and mobilise your allies at home before t action can be taken. So we're going to get 25 uh, influence, 1,500 1, treasury, and we also get the opportunity to confederate Calador, which of course is in Ulthwan over here. So, I mean, it does mean splitting our forces, which might not be the best decision. Now, what I'm going to do here, because I know they've got an army meandering around somewhere. Maybe. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's do that. And we're also going to get... Ooh, reload time reduction for archers? Yes, please. Let's take that. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on what Clan Eshin is up to. So just need to to keep an eye on that one. Because the last thing we need is Clan Eshin to suddenly appear and give me a good old shanking from the rear. So what we want to do... Okay, they've... they've... Do you truly believe you can avert Kalador's vengeance Hello. Please. Um, you want a non-aggression pact. Do I work together with... You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, sure. Why not? Fuck it. I'm negotiating a non-aggression pact because I do this not want to kill those greenskins. I have no interest in doing that. We cannot reach you. That's a bastard, isn't it? We could this do. Is my destiny. Let's do something like that. Okay, because, I mean, the likelihood is Clan Eshin are going to stab the greenskins. So they're going to die eventually anyway. So at least if they're not at war with me, they're focusing on the person I don't like. So I'm more than happy to sign a non-aggression pact with them, because that means they can concentrate on fighting Clan Eshin and keeping them busy while I'm dealing with these guys. Because as soon as we've taken Ash Ridge Mountains, we're peacing out. I will rouse Kalador's dragons. Yes, you rouse that dragon. Holy shit. It's a good old rouse. It's an old-fashioned rousing, everyone. He's going to get his lance out, he's going to polish it, and then he's going to go off. Rouse the dragon. Okay, let's, let's kill these... Slayers. Yeah, that's fine. Let us wake the dragons. <laughs> sure. Michaela's up to her old tricks again. Chucking those great balls of fire. The dwarves do not appreciate it. So we just need to secure this settlement and then we've got the entirety of our province the rest of these dwarves i don't really care about i'm not really bothered about taking the rest of the province just yet we've got other things to deal with i quite like the slayers in their white trousers they quite look they look quite good don't they so we're going to be concentrating some fire on them because of course slayers have no missile protect do they have missile no they don't oh they have bronze shields I guess because they can, like, deflect them with their axe or something. Oh, well, never mind. Our Dragon Princes, helping Prince Emmerich take out the Quarrelers on the left flank, on the right flank. We've our Sun Dragons been doing the same thing. We need to lock out those 
quarrelers. Meanwhile, our spears are moving to engage the dwarves. Um, I'm not sure how well they'll do against them. So far, so good. And over on this flank, we've got our white lions, who have taken a little bit of quarreler shot, uh, fire, but actually not doing too badly. And they're going to be hitting these miners right in the back, which is going to be doing a lot of damage to them because, of course, armor piercing. The miners really only have armor on their side. Meanwhile, our dragon prince is trying to take out the rest of the quarrelers to reduce the amount of fire they can uh, put down on us. Prince Emmerich charging into the rear, sending one dwarf flying. I mean, he. He went miles. I mean, he may be an absolute knob, but he has a lot of style, doesn't he? So the Dragon Prince is continuing to run down units in the back there, but we need a little bit of assistance because our front line is not doing particular... They're, they're sort of like trading with the Dwarves, so... Let's... Let's change the balance a little bit here. Of course, our right flank is very secure as the White Lions easily mince their way through those Miners. Just the enemy general to deal with. Dwarf generals are really tanky and very difficult to actually kill. Even Imerick's struggling. He's killed 46 guys. It's a nightmare. Those slayers continue to be a pain. There's only three of them left, though. Can you please... Can you stab them back, please? Thank you. Stab... Stab. Good lads. Okay. Well, that's that problem dealt with. Now we just need to piece out with them. Hopefully they'll be... willing. Okay, successful... They cannot remain securing of our province. We've got another Beard Weaver. And Shadow Armor. Vanguard deployment speed. I mean, it's not the best thing to have, but it's fine. And invocation of Aisha. Right, you. Talk at me in your crude language if you must. I make no promises as to the outcome. Okay, thanks. Okay, if I do that. Yes. Right, good. Okay, now we're friends. Everyone's friendly. That's good. And Imerick can finally have his Dragon Horn. Do -do 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 -do. We took that all night long. And we're going to get burning heads. Because if we're going to be fighting rats, then we're going to want... We are Ill at ease. Well, good. That's probably fine. Never mind. Oh, I could get Lothar and Sea Guards. Or we could get more... More growth and casualty replenishment. Hmm. It probably makes sense, doesn't it? That extra growth. Fuck it, we're getting growth. Get extra. Oh, we can get both. There we go. Well, that, that solved that problem for me then. Fantastic. Okay, and we want uh, construction and growth. Now, no, oh, wait, actually, cancel, cancel. How much is this? 3,400. In that case, we're not upgrading anything, boys. We're not upgrading anything. Right, we can get invocation to Aisha, so that's going to give more cash to replenishment rate, untainted and immune to attrition. That's quite nice. We've got Invocation of Asurian, that's Influence, Construction Cost Reduction, and Public Order. Quite nice. Invocation of Eldrazor, which is, is his Experience for Lords and Nobles, and Experience Gain, that's quite nice. And Armor Piercing Damage for Lords and Heroes, and Dragon Princes. It does reduce our Diplomat Relations with High Elves. It also gives many Attack, and that is for 10 turns, not bad. And the Greater Invocation of Vol, a Star Dragon is ready to be awoken, which enables flaming attacks, more armor for Swordmasters of Hoeth, White Lines of Trace, Phoenix Guard, and Dragon Princes. It gives Vol's Hammer, which is it's quite a powerful ability against sort of siege equipment and walls. I think it basically can take down a wall in one hit, I believe. And we also have uh, an increase in the ability uses for Dragon Breath. Not that I tend to use my Dragon Breath all that much, but oh well. Uh, we've also got Vol's Anvil. 
So we need uh, Ilithmar, which is a special resource, which I, this one here, I don't know how you get it though. This is, this is part of a mod, and I haven't really played a lot with it. I, I, I knew it existed, I just hadn't played it. And basically, it's like the um, the dwarf 4G bit. You can get some, some cool shit by making stuff, hammer it together. But we need lithium, and I don't have it. What sort of hoeth doesn't need it? It just needs some wine. Apparently, to make a sort of hoeth, you just need some money and to be tanked. That's it. You just, just get absolutely smashed off your tits, and then just... Just walk into a forge, say, stand back, I'm going to make a sword, and then you just churn out one of those bad boys. I'm not surprised if that's how you're making swords of Hoeth. You're getting tanked and then just smashing some metal together. That's insane. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Eventually got it. Uh, right. Purified, purified Graves of the Dragons. Let's get that one. With the correct rites and due honour, the ancient hordes and armour of fallen dragons can be repaired for reuse. Ooh. You may look upon me. The dragon shall wake. You may look upon me, but only when I'm blowing my dragon horn. Okay, so I mean, so far so good. We might come then, messenger. Spit out your words. They'll probably die for the grease skins soon anyway, so who cares? We are ill at ease. Noted. What's this? Cad eye. So this is what gives us the 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 annoying phoenix bastards. Uh, we could get more growth. I'm tempted to get more growth, although having a hero would be quite nice. That's an option. A watchtower, though. Defences. Hmm. We are kind of attacking in this direction, so I kind On the other hand, we do we do want to protect our purified grave of the dragons, don't we? So let's let's go with that. I'm going to hold off getting anything else for the moment. In fact, what I might do is merge you and then disband you. Because that's going to give us some money. Basically, we need... We need our grave to be up and running. We need to sanctify the shit out of that big pile of bones. And then we need some more dragon princes. Because they are what's going to be... Helping us against things like the Greenskins, against Clan Eshin, all that kind of shit. Witness my stride. <laughs> stride. Such a knob. God, I hate you so much, Imrik. You're such a, such a cock, aren't you? <sighs> Never mind. Right. We don't have any claw bolt throwers. Would like them. Don't have them. More, I mean, trumpeters. We do like blowing our dragon horns, so let's get everyone else blowing their horns as well. Okay, we've got Watchtower. You've got some boys. That's good. That'll protect you. Okay, we're racing towards the border here. So it does look like Clan Eshin has yet to push the green skins back which is good news for us that's very good news i guess we want no we don't we want to we want to save our pennies don't we how long before it's finished two turns but we got we got to save our pennies how much does a dragon prince cost these days that's the question uh 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 how much do you you're what well, you're 350 to upkeep which means we could have two of you but it depends if we have the money. It depends if we have enough money to actually recruit them. I don't often worry about recruitment costs because normally it's 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 not really a concern. However, we don't have much money coming in, and basically, be okay. So if we get the dragon princes, then we have no more money until stuff happens. Master of Drakes. So we're just going to have to chill here for a turn, I think. Now, public order is is secure. We do have the garrison here. The garrison here is quite nice as well because we do have that sun dragon and dragon princes. So we're fairly secure in that in that regards. I just think we need to need to hold off. If we have any money left over, we can use it to upgrade ship. But I need to concentrate on taking out Clan Eshin. My powers grow. Good to know. Let's get more burning heads. And then we need Dragon Princes. Okay, just as well we didn't buy any more. That's good. They're only, two, they're only 200 each, actually, due to the upkeep reduction, which is great. So, holy shit. That's dirt. Dragon Princes, which are extra killy and dirt cheap. I am... I'm in. It is going to take two turns to recruit them. But I think it's well worth, because they will murder their way through 
quite a lot of shit. Now I'm just... Ooh, looks like the Greenskins are on the march. You know what? If the Greenskins take out Clan Eshin, that's going to save me a lot of bother. I don't think it's going to quite work like that, but you can but dream. Now this isn't the first time that I've actually played him, Rick. I, I played him on stream, and I did not do very well in the Mortal Empires campaign, and then I went over to, to Vortex and uh, did marginally better but also then got my ass kicked by Vashnar so uh, this this is my third attempt at Imerick. Guess we'll see how it goes. Okay we have sighted a dragon but Greatest of the dragon princes. do I go and no you know what I just need to Seeking glory. This is my destiny. okay we've got a couple of stacks of rats and it looks like a lot of goblins heading now. If 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 oh, I mean the dream is that the Skaven attack the the green skin stack and they wipe each other. They both wipe each other out, and then I can just mop up this entire corner before I have to worry about Malice, who is uh, probably moving on Dread Rock as we speak. So let's keep an eye on this. Just have to keep our beat. See what's going on. What, what, ooh, ooh, that looked like a bit of a clash there. Now, I want to take Flayed Rock, because if we take Flayed Rock, then Clan Eshin are basically... A moment can be spared. Hello. Okay, don't care. I'm not Fair super worried about that. Mercy. Hello, you're going to cancel it? That's fine. You know what? That's absolutely fine, because I was already thinking about killing you anyway, so... The dragon shall wake. That's A-OK. -okay. Follow the dragon! Okay, let's just chill here for a second. Magic let's let's do that stance. Public order is actually increasing, which is I don't think I've ever had early campaign. Normally, it's a scrabble to get public order buildings up. You must order. Do you like me more? You do like me more. I mean, you don't like me because of the military actions. I did kill quite a few dwarves, and then use their beards for scarves, but you know, that's that's just what happens. Okay, let's see. What I want to do is keep an eye on this and see what clan... Oh, interesting. Interesting. You know what? I didn't even realise we'd, we'd met Kalador, but apparently they've ended their non-aggression pact with us and they hate us because... Aversion? Are you really adverse... Okay, fine. Whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> See if I care. I'll kill you. I'll kill you all. God, aversion? I, I do think I'd... Yeah. I mean, I guess... I guess if the princes are all like, Hey, let's just blow our dragon horns. And Emery's like, No, sometimes we need to fight people as well. Then I guess that would be understandable. Okay, so I'm hoping that Flayed Rock might be weak. And if we can kill you, and you are marching, we should make our life a little bit easier. I always do. Well, let's hope so. So, it looks like this is going to be an easy fight, but let's fight it anyway. What do you have? Anything good? Obsidian Amulet, Scroll of Black Hot... Oh. Oh. Okay. That that could actually be quite nasty. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. That's actually quite a nasty, nasty ability. Right, well, we'll have to kill Toxa Ring Wrench, but we might be able to then swing back around... And take out Flayed Rock. And that will effectively remove Clan Eshin as a threat. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.